Here are some of the pictures which I have taken with the 1635 lens. If you want to see the kind of videos it takes, here are some of the B-roll videos of mine taken with the same 16-35mm lens. Hey guys, good afternoon. I'm just right now here in Colorado and I had a video to be made since a long time. I keep on seeing a lot of people asking the same question again and again on forums, Facebook groups, Twitter, Reddit about which should be their single lens which they can use to travel with all over the world. I mean, if you know your requirements, it absolutely makes no sense to ask the same question again and again. But anyways, I can tell you about it from my experience who travels for almost half of the year and shoot, edit, publish almost daily. So this is my lens, like I travel with it all over the world and this is the single lens I travel with. I don't even unscrew it from my Sony A7R 3 not a single day. So this is the Sony 16-35mm f2.8 GM series of lens. This is heavy. This is expensive, this is extremely sharp and this is incredibly insane lens. Absolutely recommended. This is the only single lens which I used to shoot with daily and I do everything with it. It can do 16, it can do 24, it can do 35, it can do 50mm, 52mm. I mean, what else can you expect from a $2,500 lens? This is like... <sighs> This is the only lens you need in your kit bag. So in my opinion, this is the best run and gun walk around lens. So talking about the focal length, 16mm is just so perfect for vlogging, landscape photography. 24mm is just so perfect for cinematic videos, slow-mo videos, 120p, FPS, gimbal. 35mm is just so perfect for portrait photography. And if you're on a Sony full frame, you can just switch to Super 35mm mode and go to the crop mode and you reach up to 50mm. That is insane. So basically this single lens is doing the job for four prime lenses. 16, 24, 35, 50mm. And it's incredibly fast. It, the aperture opens up to till f2.8 and that is for full range. For 16 till 35, you can have the aperture open up to 2.8. That is ridiculous. This is like, this lens can absolutely see in the night as well, as long as you are on a good camera. Yeah, I mean like Sony A7S2, A7 III, Sony A7R3, of course not the R3. Sony A7S2 or Sony A7 III can absolutely see in pitch dark with this lens. I just so love it. And I keep seeing the question like people ask which lens for photography and which lens for videos. I mean, this lens can do both. Photos, it does extremely sharp photos you can this is one of the most sharp lens in Sony lineup the GM 1635 f2.8 and talking about the videos I mean I have already clarified that this is the only lens which I use whole day for all of my work filmmaking vlogging weddings almost everything and this thing is heavy this thing is heavy this thing is expensive like two thousand five hundred dollars that is crazy expensive almost the same price as a sony a7s2 camera <laughs> really expensive but yeah it makes sense because this is extremely sharp extremely incredibly fast and it does just almost everything for you this is the only lens which you can travel with in your kit bag and do not regret about anything. I mean, this does almost everything for you. But yeah, if you want to settle with, if you have a lower budget and you do not want to go for this fast lens, there is one 16 to 35 Sony, which is F4, not the F2.8 aperture. It opens up to F4 and that is like half of the price of this, close to $1,200. You can get that, of course. But yeah, you need to make sure you are using it only in the daylight or at least when you have some lights. 
but this can absolutely see in pitch dark conditions as well it opens up to f2.8 so yeah that's pretty much it all about it that's all i had to brag about this lens because this lens is just i don't know i mean it stays almost it sleeps with me i can tell you it sleeps with me this is the only lens which sleeps with me this is crazy killer lens so i've linked in the video description below this lens and the f4 if you want to go for a lower budget the f4 you can go for it if you want to go for the same lens the f2.8 i have linked below in the video description go ahead and get it absolutely recommended if you have got any questions just let me know in the comment section below smash the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet and don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay updated i will see you next